For those who didn't see uh, mm -hmm. our last show, <clears throat> even for those who did, I want you to set the stage mm -hmm. of the mystery revealed in the return mm -hmm. of the gods. Would you do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. The, to, in a real quick nutshell, uh, the, the first thing to know is that when the Bible speaks about the gods, there were gods everywhere, there is something real behind them. The Bible says it. There were entities behind the ancient gods. They were, they were spirits. The Bible calls them shedim in Hebrew, in Greek, daimonia, which we get the word demonic from. But they are spirits linked to the gods. But then, and so the entire ancient world in many ways was taken, seized by the gods, possessed not just people, but possessed cultures, including our own Western civilization was a possessed civilization. Mm -hmm. Then into that comes God, into that comes Messiah, comes Jesus, Yeshua, comes with a power to cast out spirits, to cast out the gods. The gospel goes into the pagan world and what happens? It, what happens is the gods flee, the gods go into exile. Mm -hmm. And so that means the spirits are cast out. It means it's the greatest mass exorcism in, in history. And not only, by the way, what happened in Rome would happen in other cultures. They go to cannibals, they go, the same thing would happen. It would be deliverance, deliverance all over. So we have a rare, unique civilization that we've grown used to that's called Western civilization. It is the only one that has been exorcised. But the only, oh. the only thing that is keeping out the gods or spirits is the gospel, is the yeah. presence of God. And oh. so we, we don't realize what we're Dawn taking for granted. comes the light. How many are old? <laughs> You've lived in America for 60, 70 years, maybe. Yeah. 80. <laughs> Good, that's me. But this country used to be a different place. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. My lands, Rabbi. I keep thinking I must be crazy because I'm the one saying this is not America that I've known. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me there's a reason. Yeah. yeah that's we had a time when we were, the gospel was yeah. the gospel. Yeah, it was right. the, the foundation for America. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I, I remember, I've seen things, I wasn't there, but I saw things from the 50s where, where they had public service announcements saying, Go to church. Go to church. Oh, absolutely. It, regular thing. I, rem I remember, I, I do remember this, that at the end of the, the, telev the, the, the television broadcasting day, they'd mm -hmm. have sermons on. They'd have prayers they on. They would. True. Sermons. It was all yeah. taken for granted that we were a Christian nation. Even, even people who were like very, uh, you'll say hyper-liberal, were, you know, both parties were, we're a Christian nation. We are Christians. That was all part of it. It affected everything. That, in fact, if, when you take the time when the gods were sent into exile, mm -hmm. and, and the spirits went. Our morality pretty much had not changed from the time about marriage, about sexuality, all the way up to, like, say, the 1960s. Mm -hmm. All the way, we, have, we had the same thing. This was that, and the other thing is, but the other part of the puzzle is that Jesus himself, Messiah, gives us a key, a warning, and a key, and that is that when he speaks about the man who was delivered by the spirit, spirit comes back, finds it empty, finds it, it's clean and empty, but it's empty. There's no God in there. It's empty. There's no gospel in there. It's empty. Then the Spirit says, let's get my friends, and comes back, and he's repossessed seven times, eight times worse. Wow. What the warning is, and, he, and again, for those who didn't know, he's not speaking about a man. He's using a man, but he says, so with this generation. And when you take that to where we are now, what the warning is, a civilization that has been delivered by God, for God, of the spirits, of the gods, which is this civilization, if it ever turns back, if it ever turns away from God, mm. if it ever lets its house become empty of God, mm. it's not going to stay empty. The gods are returning, and the spirits will return, and they say, we will go back to our house now. We can come back, and we're going to bring more. It's going to be worse. We're going to be repossessed. What we have been watching since that time, yeah, uh, right. most brazenly, has been the repossession of America, the possession of America, the repossession of Western civilization mm -hmm. with America at the head. But we are, that's why it makes no sense. That's why it's irrational. That's why even liberals are saying this is craziness. It, it, this sure. is, this is irrational because, and, and it's, and all of these things go back to the gods. Every, everything we talk about, it's not just neutral, irrational. It's going back to the gods. You know, that, you know, it says that, you know, 
Jesus said, the spirits go into the wilderness. Well, the gods were in exile. There were spirits behind the gods. They were in the wilderness. They were waiting, waiting, waiting until the moment that the door was open. Mm. And we gave them that. Wow. When we opened the door, uh. that was all that was needed. And they came in slowly at first. Yeah. You know, they come in, because they came in too fast. Everybody say, well, that's crazy. They would never accept it back then. Back right. then. They were, so it came in step by step by step by step. And then they got more power. And now it's craziness. But that's where it all began.